Last question, sir. I just heard that you keep your filming setup only around $100. How do you manage to keep it crisp? Well, you see, I just managed to find the most pristine and exquisite items that I can find at that price range. In fact, every single morning I tell myself, wow, I'm so glad I can film on this amazing... Guys, you know what? I'm done with the act. This, this is really not that good of a setup. Just, this is stupid. A hundred subscribers later guys and here I am finally making this video that's a hundred I don't have that many fingers but a hundred people have chosen to hit that red button boosting my ego we're already at like 160 now so I actually have to get this video out before it's too late and um, we're already at like whatever comes next but me and Jimmy here are to here today to bring you my $100 filmmaking setup um, and you can stick around to the end to see some bonus things. I'll talk about my computer setup in a different video and let's go right into the video. Okay guys, but in all seriousness now, we can start off by talking about the phone. Now I know most people won't actually like include phones in like budget sort of setups like this, but if we go to Apple's website, we can actually see that my phone is valued at 30 to whole dollars in trade-in value. Um, pretty amazing if you ask me, so we can add that nice number to the list. But that's really just showing how you guys can start off with any sort of phone, anything you have as your camera, just get going recording. Obviously, my videos have just been using an iPhone 6, I mean, and I'm still getting some sort of views. So like, just saying, you can really start off with anything. It doesn't matter. Now we can go on to the gimbal, which is actually quite a valuable part of my setup. Come on, Jimmy. You got, come, Jimmy. You have to, you have to actually like, Jimmy, Jimmy, J oh. There's Jimmy, guys. Okay, so why do I say the gimbal is so valuable? Well, actually, it's literally because it does everything for this setup. This is the base, and it's also going to take up most of your price range on here. But I use uh, the gimbal, which is called the Moza Mini S. I did a video of it. You can check it out somewhere up here. And it allows me to get some awesome shots, like with some rotating modes on it. You have a thing where you can literally use it as a handle for vlogging. And the most important part, stabilization. You need that smooth video. A lot of the time when you're using your phone, it's really shaky whenever by hand compared to using a gimbal. And then it has its own little tripod, or you can attach it to your own like I have it right now. But it really makes it a very versatile setup. And I managed to get mine on eBay for around 55 bucks. You can check out another video around in the top right corner um, to see how I save money on my things if you wanna check that out as well. So now we're up to, I believe, $85 now. Tell me if my math is wrong, Ethan, in the future but let's go on to the mic. All right, so for the mic in my setup, it's actually super simple. Um, I literally just have a lav mic, which is like 10 bucks. Pretty simple. All right, video over. Let's end it right there. Cut. Okay, you're fine. You got me, you got me. Okay, we're at $95. Add that to the list. But yeah, the, the thing, the thingy, the, the, the microphone comes within its own extension cord and it's got four wind covers, you know, in case if you have indoor wind. Yeah, uh, whatever you need those for. But yeah, that's pretty much the microphone. Okay guys, so you might notice that we're literally like $5, $5 away from our maximum budget. But I quickly want to tell you about today's sponsor, Raid Shadow. No, just kidding, it's me. Literally the channel is at 160 subscribers as of right now. Something around that type. And it's freaking insane how crazy this is growing. I just want to ask you guys to answer the poll somewhere up here about what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Because um, I do have some plans, hopefully to improve video quality and just kind of try to be more entertaining and see what you guys like. Um, yeah, if you're enjoying, you know what to do. I don't really need to say it again. Let's hop right back into it. Okay, but there are a few other things I would say you probably want to have with a setup like this. Because when you're using a phone and you have your microphone plugged in like that, you can't really listen back to it because your phone's all like, oh, well, you're using this microphone, but we think, because we're stupid, that it's headphones. That's not how it works, but you just gotta get something Bluetooth. At least that's how it works with the phone. And I used this Bluetooth uh, earbuds by the company J-Lab. I forgot what their name is, but I'll throw in the link in the description below. Same thing with everything else, of course. And if you can't afford this in your budget, it's not a huge problem. You can always connect it to Bluetooth speakers like Alexa right here, or like to a computer or something like that and just play it off of that whenever you want to listen back 
to all of your audio from your clips that you're recording. And then the next thing is actually I have a cable that I use to connect to my phone because iPhone 6 gang gang, you know, that was the cringiest thing ever, but like, uh, cause we have still the charging port so I can just plug in my charging thing and plug in my microphone at the same time and don't have to worry about some stupid dongle thing, which is all the phones. But when I do upgrade, I don't have to worry about that. And then there's a final thing, which is actually a camera that I use, which I just borrow. Again, a lot of this stuff is borrowed, like the tripod I'm even using is borrowed from my parents, um, because they don't really use it all the time. So I borrow my parents' camera, which is something like the Nikon Coolpix B500. If it's got cool in the name it's not that cool really it's kind of sucks but it's good enough for thumbnails and stuff like that and you can just use it for a sort of cool b-roll and stuff like that I also use this camera you know for like things where I do clips of my phone gimbal or my phone where I can't actually use it in the recording which is pretty nice to have a second camera definitely recommend it to get more angles also if you guys are wondering about my lighting for my videos I literally just use like a lamp and my alarm clocks light so don't worry about that a ton when you're starting off you want to start with just having a good camera and mainly good audio start off with those other than that though that's my that's a lot of that I said it again um, yeah that's the summary of my whole setup me and Jimmy just want to say goodbye almost call him Jerry there um, yeah hit that red button and share the video to boost my ego of course you know what to do if you liked it and you know what to do if you disliked it but hopefully that added some value to your day and uh, drop a comment or a question if you have any coming up or some Q&A's hopefully but other than that, hope you enjoyed. Peace. It was actually my friend the other day who wanted me to get this video out before 200 subscribers because he's like, oh, um, you got 21 subscribers before 200. I had a little heart attack and it's like, oh, I, I meant 29, it's all good. And then I'm like, okay, fine. And he's like, 26, 21, 20, you get the idea. And then he was like, oh, oh, that's the wrong thing. Just forget you saw that. Yeah, I literally have just over 10 subscribers to go.